After the request of the Chinese Defense Minister, the Indian Defense Minister Rajnath Singh held a two-hour meeting with his Chinese counterpart, and has clearly conveyed to the Chinese side that China must strictly respect the line of actual control, and must not make attempts to unilaterally change the status quo, and must ensure complete disengagement and de-escalation along the LAC at the earliest. He also made it clear to the Chinese delegation that there should be no doubt about India's determination to protect its sovereignty and territorial integrity. After the Indian Air Force took up the case with the district administration over the issue of increased bird activity near the Ambala Air Base, the district administration has shifted all six families that were engaged in the bird breeding business, and the existing ban on flying UAVs has been extended to 4 kilometers. The issue of over 1,000 illegal structures is also being discussed, and an action will be taken considering all the aspects. The DRDO has been carrying out wind tunnel testing and design changes to develop a Mach 2.4 capable supersonic target drone, that will help surface ships to practice detection and targeting of incoming supersonic anti-ship systems, and it is expected that it will be ready by 2024 for demonstration. The supersonic target drone can be launched from fighter jets or surface platforms, and can also be used to train the air defense systems of the Indian Air Force and Indian Army. The star will use a booster in the first stage, and will then move to liquid fuel ramjet engine in the second stage to simulate sea skimming cruise systems to around 12 feet off the surface of the ocean. The target drone can also simulate high-altitude cruise systems that can target ships from more than 30,000 feet. The Indian Ministry of Defence had granted approval for the purchase of 156 BMP-2 infantry combat vehicles in June 2020, and officials have said that work has started at the Ordnance Factory, and it will start supplying the first batch of the upgraded infantry combat vehicles with advanced navigation system and better communication systems to the Indian Army from next financial year, and the complete order for 156 vehicles is expected to be concluded within a period of two years. The Ordnance Factory has also taken up another project with the help of Bharat Electronics Limited to equip the BMP-2 with integrated fire control system to make them night fighting capable. The Indian Ministry of Defence had signed a 880 crore rupees deal with Israel for 16,479 Negev NG7 7.62 mm light machine guns under fast track procurement in March 2020, and industry officials have informed that the Israeli company will start the delivery of the first batch very soon. The provisioning of this operationally urgent and very critically needed NG7 will boost the confidence of the frontline troops and will provide much needed combat power to the armed forces. The UAE-based manufacturer Caracal that was shortlisted to supply around 93,000 car 816 carbines to the Indian Army, has now written to the Defence Ministry seeking clarity on the project that has been delayed by almost two years. The Caracal Group has said that the program was a fast-track procurement which puts Caracal resources under stress, as the company has to account for production on a continuous basis, and the company has been waiting for the final contract to start supplying the car 816. The National Investigation Agency has conducted lie detector tests on the two persons arrested for stealing computer hardware from the under construction carrier INS Week Grant, and they have maintained that they had carried out the theft only for monetary gains. Twenty components have been recovered by investigating agencies, while one of the components was sold for 5,000 rupees on an online website. 
the Indian and Russian navies have begun a two-day military exercise in the Bay of Bengal, and a wide range of activities across the spectrum of maritime operations like surface and anti-aircraft tests and helicopter operations are part of the 11th edition of the Indra Navy Exercise 2020, that will further consolidate the interoperability of the two navies in dealing with various security challenges. After scrapping the Chinese-led Krakenal project, Thailand has proposed an alternative project to construct two deep seaports on both sides of the country's southern coast, which would be linked via rail and highway, that would reduce the shipping time by two days, and this new project will be funded only by the government, and this decision is likely to be welcomed by India. Oh,